At the Tasting Cultures Foundation, we look at the world through the lens of food and culture. And specifically, we produce, in collaboration with a diverse array of communities and organizations, multimedia educational programming on food and culture. And we, we like to keep it small in the sense of small community museums and community areas because it goes back to community, it goes back to their needs, and it goes back to them reflecting to us what they want to do. Uh, for example, in Milwaukee, where we're doing the Art of Latino Foodways, that's going to have probably a very Mexican flavor to it because it's predominantly Mexican. Um, we're not exclusive, but we also very much, in each place where we do the art of food waste, uh, reflect back to the community what their needs are. If they want to have an educational program about how to get, for example, uh, a farmer's market closer or in their community, then we would do educational programs about that. If they'd like to do it about, they want to learn more about herbal traditions, then we'll, we'll try and do the programming around that. The other thing that we're doing, uh, and this is something that I'm very, very excited about because it's really a privilege and a pleasure to work with businesses that have a social entrepreneurship model. And we're working now in establishing our relationship with a wonderful business in North Carolina called Garden in the Coop. And they have a wonderful program um, called The Giggling Garden. And it's basically engendering and educating uh, kids in their school settings about uh, fruits and vegetables, but giving them the tools to grow them and a program. It's very, very important for me and the people that work with me that they realize the value of food and what food represents because it means so many things to so many people. It means story, it means connection, it means taste memories, it means continuity, uh, and it's also political and social and has to do with environmental justice. You know, who knows the food and who grows the food? It just represents so many things and at the same time it's the great equalizer because everyone does eat.